Hello greetings engineers, Bob here, and today I wanted to share some of the things that I've introduced onto my station. So using some of the new blocks over here, I've got a physical security device. So I've found that the event controller does have the option to detect whether or not blocks have been added and removed. And that is precisely what this one is going to check for and you can set it up to trigger events off of timer blocks from this event controller. And I have placed all of those items onto this little hinge because I wanted it to be part of the uh, workstations that I have in the uh, information center for my base. The grids that it is detecting, the event controller has to be on that grid. So if I were to, uh, let's say, uh, do something to the hinge itself and these blocks, this event controller would not detect it. But let me start by uh, demonstrating what it does exactly. Uh, let's go ahead and add a block to this grid. And that is one of the conditions that the event controller will detect. And it triggers one of the timers on here that a block has been added to the station. Uh, this little button here I have for a reset on it. And that way it can reset everything uh, also, removing a block will trigger the event controller. And we can see here that the face has turned angry that blocks have been removed from the station. And again, the light turns on. And once again, you can plus the reset to reset both of those. And I don't even have to have seen the change there. This face will change back and forth whether I have removed one or not. And the way I have it set up is that the lights will stay on once that is triggered. Only pressing that reset button is going to clear these errors. So that way if someone added something and then removed it, uh, you, you will be able to have detected that change. They have access to these. We'll go ahead and reset that there. And just to demonstrate that these do not work on this subgrid, I can place some blocks on the grid itself, the subgrid there and I can remove them, and the AI did not detect it because that is not where this event controller is. So this event controller will not detect through subgrids on there. Uh, so that is one limitation of that particular setting on there, but otherwise pretty good. Uh, the next one over here is the operational security. Similar limitations with this, the event controller will detect any blocks that you have set up for it to detect with the block integrity check, it will be able to detect through subgrids, which is excellent, but it will only detect grids that you have told it to select. So in this example, I have it being able to select a gyroscope and a battery, but nothing else. And as such, I will demonstrate on the gyroscope here that it is detecting. And as I grind it down, we get the showing that a block has been damaged. And you and we can go ahead and weld it back up, and then it is good to go. And then ditto, this does work through the subgrids. As I grind down a battery, and we can see once again that our block has detected a change. However, it will not tell you what block has been damaged. But if you hop into your control panel, you'll be able to see if something has been disabled. Uh, next to it is this other battery. I can grind this guy down and we can see that nothing has changed over here. Uh, ditto with a cargo container over here. I can grind that a bit and our block has not detected any change. So we can come over here and just demonstrate that it is functional. And if that is a change that we wanted to uh, keep, we can always reset the default on here and silence the alarm to go back to the nominal system. And over here on our uh, enemy proximity, this is going to be a great little uh, block system to add in here. Uh, I can actually put all of the items on that small hinge just to kind of make it another little stand-up workstation. And uh, that way you can have everything nice and compact. Even these small grid blocks will have that 2.5k range on them, which makes it excellent for missiles, but also good for defensive things. The defensive block is actually able to trigger actions, which is exactly what we will want it to do on our system here. 
So soon as an enemy would be in range to detect and start to home in on my, my uh, station or my ship or whatever, I can also have this block detect the same and perform some sort of counter action, or at least let me know what's going on here. So here I've got another station set up with my proximity security and uh, some little presents for uninvited guests. And so instead of just having audio visual warnings on your station or ship, you can have that defensive block trigger a timer, which is a little more proactive. Here we come at the two and a half kilometers. Looks like we've got the safe zone up. Guest is inbound and we'll send out the welcome committee. Release the hounds. Gorgeous. With that knowledge in hand, go forth and build great things. See you next time.